Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at three different scenarios where we're going to customize our Mix Moves motions with the various other motion tools in iClone. We're going to be using first the Motion Modify tool and then onto the Direct Puppet tool and finally the Motion Layer Editor. And I'm going to be using my Patrick Bateman inspired uh, character here that I've uh, created from Character Creator using the Professional Outfits Pack. You can check that out uh, if you want to create a character like this. Anyways, let's get right into it with the first scenario here. So I'm going to select my mix moves right here and we have the male CC profile selected. I'm going to go to idle talk and we're going to apply a couple of uh, talking uh, motions right here. Okay so the first one is just uh, standing and talking 01. So he's going to just shake his head, do a little bit of talking, blah 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 blah. And then we're going to apply uh, number two which will continue on blend in from number one. And you can see he's trying to explain something or he's rapping. I'm not sure what he's doing. All right. So we'll just go ahead and close that down for now. And I'm going to press F3 and go into the timeline. And let's have our uh, object related chat, uh, track selected over here. And you can see now that we have two motion clips in the motion track. The first uh, talk 01 and talk 02. Now say for example we wanted uh, the talk 01 motion to be a little bit different. We want him to be a little bit uh, defeated or depressed. And talk 2 will just be normal. Now the reason I put this into two clips is because when you use the motion modify tool, you're only able to modify the clip that you select. So I'm going to select the first clip here, right click it, and go to modify right here. Okay, that'll bring up our motion modifier. And what I can do here is I can go ahead and preview. Uh, by preview and press space, we can adjust various values of our character during the animation. It'll just loop the entire thing over and over again. So say, for example, I wanted him to be a little bit, uh, you know, depressed. I can have him slouching over for the duration of the animation. Increase that slouching. You can have him maybe lean forward a little bit as well. So, you know, he's a little bit crestfallen and, uh, you know, what's going on here? And he's trying to explain something. And then we can even do, like, you know, uh, have him uh, crouching down a little bit. And the way you can crouch down is uh, by going to lower hips right here. So you can see he's a little bit uh, maybe exasperated trying to explain something to someone. All right, so maybe we want this, the first motion now to be like this as opposed to the other one. So in like, you know, 30 seconds, we've just totally changed the emotion of this uh, particular uh, motion that he's uh, expressing right now. All right, so let's go ahead and press space to stop that. And if you want to apply those changes, you can just go ahead and press OK. And that's going to apply those changes to this clip. And now you can see, we'll play back. He'll be a little bit uh, exasperated, down like that. And then he'll go up into the this position right here. Now he went up a little bit too fast. So what you can do if you want to, you know, slow that down a little bit is increase your transition area right here. You know, to expand that a little bit. And now you can see he gets up a little bit more naturally. So let's play back the entire thing right there. He's like, what are you talking about? And then gets up like that and, you know, continues on. So that's our basically our first scenario. You know, using motion modify to modify your mixed moves clips. Really quick and easy thing to do. Let's right click the character, remove object animation, and you can see those clips will disappear. And let's take a look now at how we can use the same uh, procedure, same type of thing using Direct Puppet Tool. Okay, so I'm going to go to Mix Moves again. And this time I'm going to choose uh, Sit Chair uh, Motion right here. We're going to choose uh, Sit Talk. And I'm going to choose this Angry 02 Motion. Okay, so we're just going to double click that. Our character will, you know, have a seat. You can just imagine he's behind his desk and he's saying, you know, you owe me money or, you know, whatever bankers say uh, stuff like that okay so he's just expressing uh you know a little bit of anger right here but say for example if we had during his uh, finger wagging right there we had him well uh, you know nodding his head up and down we could instead change that uh, entire motion into a motion of agreement so right now he's kind of like you know scolding someone but if we have him nodding we could change that to kind of like a motion of agreement now the way we can do that is let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and what I'm going to do is go to the uh, uh, Direct Puppet tool over here. So at frame one, I'm going to select Direct Puppet. I'm going to select my character's head bone and choose the primary rotation. And if I press space to preview, you can see that I can move my mouse around and move my character's head around. And I can have him nodding like that if I just move up and down just like that. Okay, so that's really cool. That's a really easy, like five second way to completely change that motion. So just make sure to keep your mouse stationary until the point until you reach the point where you want to add that animation and then you can move your mouse and then keep it stationary afterwards as well. So let's go ahead and press record and press space. So again, stationary. And as soon as he starts wagging his hand, uh, finger like that, then we can, uh, you know, move our mouse down to nod. 
and then keep it stationary again. Okay, and that creates a changes into a puppet clip right there, which doesn't really have any uh, significant impact on our animation. And you can see now, if we play back, I'm going to close the direct puppet tool right now. If we just go ahead and play this back, now he's agreeing with us. That's right. You are right. All right, perfect. Okay, so just like 10 second fix to completely change the animation or completely change the mood of the animation. All right, so let's try our uh, final example here. This one's pretty fun. We'll go, we'll go ahead and remove the object animation again. Uh, mix moves. This time I'm going to just apply a simple kneel. Okay, so let's apply a kneel 01. Now again, you can notice that these are all really simple and easy fixes. So just like the power of these iClone tools uh, is, is, is incredible for creating really quick custom animations. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a kneel here. And I'm gonna close on the mixed moves list. We don't need this any longer. Now say for example, we wanted him to, you know, he's just kneeling here doing nothing right now. Say for example, we wanted him to get into like a prayer position. That's actually quite easy to do. What we can do is like, as he's getting down onto his knees right here, maybe about right there, we can go to edit motion layer tool. And this is edit, opens up our edit motion layer panel. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and press reset. And what reset will do is that'll add an absolute keyframe in my motion layer track. I can actually open that up if uh, you want to see it. Open our motion layer track right there. And you can see this is where you do all the motion layer keyframe editing. You can see the absolute keyframe right there adds a key on every single uh, body part track. Okay, so if you press reset, it'll just do that uh, over top of a motion clip. All right, so say, for example, down here, we want him to be in the prayer position at about frame 220 right there. Then all we can all we need to do is let's take his uh, hip, maybe about here, and kind of just move it back a little bit. Something like that will do. And let's take his lower back and use the E hockey and rotate it forward. And you can see he's in the uh, kind of prayer position right there. Take his head and move it down like that. And you can see now we've created you know all these keyframes in that uh, at that frame there as well. Now what I can do here is if I want to bring both his arms up at the same time, I can make use of this mirror function right here under IK settings. So just select mirror and then select his uh, shoulders and bring his shoulders up slightly, both shoulders up slightly, and the elbows will do the same thing. Elbows up slightly like this, and now he's saying no more. But we can also do the same thing for the hands as well. So let's take our uh, make sure his uh, let me move this a little bit further down. Oops. This way. There we go. So not so close to his chest there. And then take his wrists uh, right here and just rotate those. So now he's in the prayer position right here. We can you know, rotate it further like that or this. There you go. Okay, so he's uh, praying for more money or whatever. All right, so now we have this animation where he's down into the prayer position. So let's go ahead and close this down. And you can see if we uh, play this back, we go into his knees into the prayer position like that. Perfect. All right. So that's really how easy it is to modify that motion from kneel into a prayer position just using the motion keyframe editing. Uh, on two separate frames. All right, so that's really about all I wanted to demonstrate in this tutorial. Just three simple and easy ways to customize your uh, mixed moves motions by layering on top of them and creating you know totally different uh, varieties of motions. So you can see the uh, the possibilities are really endless uh, considering you have uh, 500 embedded mixed moves motions and you can customize each one of them in a variety of ways. So thanks so much for watching again, everyone. Make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.